In this problem, we're given a function and we're asked to manipulate known Taylor series um, to find a Taylor series expression for the function that we're given. So the Taylor series that we're familiar with uh, that'll be useful in this case are sine and cosine. The function we're given is three cosine x minus five sine x. So if we remember that cosine of x, and here we also want to center this power series at zero. So if we uh, take a look at the cosine of, or the uh, Taylor series for uh, cosine of x centered at zero. That's the sum from k equals zero to infinity of um, x to the 2k over uh, 2k. Oh. Okay. Negative one to the k times x to the 2k over 2k factorial. And sine of x is similar, so sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k times x to the 2k plus 1 um, over 2k plus 1 factorial. Alright, so Taylor series for f of x is going to be well, 5 times the Taylor series for cosine of x. So this is five times the sum from k equals zero to infinity of negative one to the k x to the two k over two k factorial. And Excuse me, that should be 3, not 5. So 3 cosine x, and then we have minus 5 sine x, so minus 5 times sum from k equals 0 to infinity. So negative 1 to the 2k plus 1 times x to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 factorial. So if we want to get an idea of what this looks like, well, uh, we expand the cosine um, term. We get, well, as first of all, we should recognize that uh, we can pull the constants inside and multiply each, uh, each term of the power series by 3 and negative 5, respectively. So this is equal to uh, the sum of 3 times negative 1 to the k times x to the 2k over 2k factorial plus uh, sum of negative 5 times negative 1 to the 2k plus 1. Okay, so now if we I get an idea of uh, what each term here looks like. Well, to get um, to add these two power series, we just add the like terms, so we combine the kth terms. Um, and you know, to get an idea of what this looks like, this is um, well, let's just uh, start writing three times the power series for a cosine. So we get three times what does it look like three times one. Uh, minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial um, minus x to the sixth over 6 factorial uh, plus dot dot dot. Now subtract off 5 times. Uh, here we've got let's see, x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial and minus x to the seventh and so on. So the constant term is uh, just going to be 3 and the term with uh, of degree 1 is negative 5x and here we have plus 3x squared over 2 factorial, or 
three x squared over two. Uh, the cubic term is going to be negative five times negative um, right, negative five times negative x cubed over three factorial. So that's positive five x cubed over three factorial, which is six, and it'll keep going on. Um, And it'll keep going on in that manner. Okay, so uh, for the second part of the problem where we're asked to estimate 0 0.1 or f of 0 0.1, uh, we'll just use the first three terms. So we'll assume that uh, f of x is approximately equal to uh, 3 minus. 5x plus, um, actually, yeah, I need something looked off here. Uh, it should be, we're here taking 3 minus x squared over 2 factorial, so this should be a minus sign. 3 minus 5x minus 3x squared over 2. Then we can just plug in uh, 0 0.1 and we do that, we see that, um, or plug that into a calculator, we see that f of 0 0.1 is approximately 2.935. And of course, we could just plug in um, f of 0 0.1 into the original equation. So this would be 3 cosine of 0 0.1 minus 5 sine of 0 0.1. And it turns out that that's equal to 2.486. So you can see that just going out three terms, you get a very good approximation.